Welcome to our Soul Sipping Sundays episode. We are your hosts. I am Joy. I'm Alcheria. I'm Sophia. Joy. Go this ahead and is explain bone to us. Bone and marrow, yes, where yes. we are reasoning together, rightly dividing the word of truth, and sharing the revelations that God has given us on the matter. Okay, so I'm gonna play the video. This is what I want. Make it clear. I thrive in clarity. The Bible says that God is not the author of confusion. So I just heard is from the podcast Dear Future Wifey, led by the brilliant Lateris R. Whitfield. If you don't know it, get to know it. Check out that podcast. It's awesome. So evidently, he just completed a singles tour. I believe that's what it was, a singles tour. Forgive me if I'm wrong. But um, on this tour, he had various panelists and they were talking about different things as it pertains to being in a state of singleness on the road or in a position of waiting for marriage. And this soundbite that you just heard is titled... Do women thrive? Keyword, do women thrive in clarity? So what you hear is one of the panelists, a woman who got the mic and began to express how much it means to a woman for a man to be very, very clear, Mm. intentionally clear about their relationship, about how he feels about her, how he has her positioned, Mm. and how he regards her in relationship. So that's what we're discussing today. Mm. Do women Mm. Mm. thrive in clarity? piggybacking off of Dear Future Wifey podcast. So ladies, what did you think about what she had to say? I always got something to say, so I'm going to go last. Go (laughs) first, Tree. Dive deep. Okay, one, I totally agree that um, women, as if anybody who is mature, um, but especially women, we thrive in clarity. I, 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 I would like to say that I agree, especially when you speak about relationships, whether that is a friendship or a courtship, marriage, you know, whatever the case may be. We need and want to know your position on us. What are your plans What are your intentions with me? Not so much for mature women. We want to know what are your plans? What are your intentions? And that means communication. Women do not thrive well in a lack of communication. And then we don't thrive at all where there is communication and no clarity. Because we are logical creatures, we tend to work best in a situation when we at least have an understanding 
of something that at least have knowledge understand what the plan is so we can do our job and be the helpmate but it has to be clear and you can't be jumping all over the place and wishy-washy because we don't function well and wishy-washy again mature women i have been hard pressed to find a mature woman that's okay with no clarity and let's take it out of context for a minute Think about when you're on your job, when your manager ain't clear about what he wants, she wants, what you do. You seek to find, okay, what is it you asking me to do? And then if it ain't in our job description, we we, we happily tell them, I'm not going to be able to do that. That ain't what you that ain't what you told me when I was in, the, in that interview. So we apply those things to our personal lives as well. So I would have to say, I agree with the young lady. I don't I need to know where I stand in your life. What what do you what is your plans for me? And if they're not clear, I ain't gonna be able to do it. Atria, I agree ten thousand percent. And you know, <laughs> this is actually something that I have dealt with at the hand of a man. Mm. Just being so unclear. You know, I didn't really know at the time how to identify it. Mm. Um, but knowing now, you know, I can, I, I echo every single last thing down to the the bone and marrow that she said. She was 10,000% accurate. She hit the nail on the head. Mm-hmm. Um, no lies were detected. <laughs> Every single thing that she said in the exact way that she said it, I rock with that. I support her. It was absolutely spot on. Like if there is any man out there who is unclear about what a woman needs to thrive in relationship with him, I offer you that clip of the Dear Future Wifey podcast. If you are clear, then you'll have it all. You'll have it all. And and let's be clear about being clear. What's not being said is, I was clear with you that I have 17 different women. <laughs> Love, Ooh. that's not the kind of clarity that we're talking about. Okay. And as a trio, wait a minute. Man, yes, it is. Be clear about that for sure. So we can make the right decisions. <laughs> well, well, uh, uh, yes, yes, in that regard, in that regard. But we're not saying let's be clear. Right. You know, so I can and run these can. streets. Right. You can have the streets. A yeah. We can respect Tell that. Go be for the streets. Yeah. And as Artria said, she's talking about a mature woman. Not a woman who's mm -hmm. who's trying to play with her time. So mm -hmm. don't play with our time. Don't play with our emotions. Don't play with our talent. Don't play with our worth. Don't play with our value. Be clear. Honor us. You know, tell us exactly what it is that you are seeking in this mm. situation so that we can then tell you whether it's a situation that we want or not. Boom. That's, that's just, that's just basic respect, which is what you as men thrive off of. You thrive off of respect. Hmm. So give it and it shall be given back unto you. Hmm. Hmm. Let's Sophia, be clear. You, 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 you got something. I have nothing. I agree. <laughs> I just want to, I just, I just want, cause I want to push for, um, uh, something else. That's a, a touchy topic. And cause she, see, sorry to that lady again. She started it. Cause she said, name. let's see if I, I don't can know. get her name. Go ahead. She said, God is not the author of confusion. She so, said that. Mm -hmm. and it is in the word and I will find it. Men want to be submitted to but don't want to submit. See, they love to throw the Bible at you and be like, oh, you're supposed to submit. It's two-way street, brother. So, clarity on that. 
in my opinion, would be something we need to talk about at the beginning. Are you clear on what the word said about Semitic? Because I am. And if we're not, let's hash it out. Let's get some clarity. So I say that to say this, that when I say that, sorry to that lady, she started it because she brought the word into it because it's so simple Sunday. So that's also another part that um mature women find very hard to get the man to understand is sometimes they look at that out of context or only look at it for the for the benefit it will have for them for the woman to submit to them but it's a two-way street because they're also supposed to submit to submit to the wife as well as far as us being in the again not having clarity about where i am in your life what position i hold in your life and things like that um if you ain't got no clear plan brother I can't submit. And why would you want me to submit to you and you don't even know where you're going? You don't even know what you want. You can't articulate what it is that you want to come out of this union. Mm-hmm. Brother, man. And while we're pausing right know. there, let me give you her name. Um, Dr. Carrie Turner, Doctor of Ministry, uh, Masters of Divinity, you can find her on Instagram at Ms. with the Z, Carrie Baby, or her website is CarrieTurner.org. That's Carrie with an I. Carriana Turner is her name. Mm. So just for the Go record. ahead, Carrie. Sorry to you, Carrie. Mm-hmm. We, we, we was just <coughs> but saying your name You're absolutely up. right. Submission goes both ways. Um, and, you know, when she was speaking, uh, she was saying something about like having a, I think it was her, maybe it was you or Tria when you opened us about having a plan. And I just, what immediately came to mind was Jeremiah 29, 11, right? When God says, mm. I know the plans that I have for you, saith the Lord plans mm. to prosper you and not harm you plans to give you hope and a future, mm-hmm. right? This is what God is saying that he actually has plans. He knows what they are. And so then when you come over into the New Testament and the word begins to speak about the marital covenant and the hierarchy of the order of God in in comparison to man, that Christ is the head of the man, right? The man is the head of the woman and God is the head of Christ. That's what the word says. So if he, as your headship, if you are a man and Christ is your headship and he's not dangling you, why would Come you on. dangle that which is in submission to you? Why would you do that? Right? The word says that a man who who doesn't who doesn't love his his wife is like an infant. It's worse than an infidel. So that the type of and I'm going to look that up just to make certain that I'm quoting it right. But the type of regard that a man should have for his wife. Well, speaking in the context of wife, but if you're on the road, if you are courting a woman, then this behavior should, should too be present in that situation that you are supposed to honor what you have with her, honor her, respect her, respect her time and, and be clear with what you want out of the situation. Be clear. But I feel like a mature man with good intentions, you won't have to tell them to give you clarity about what y'all got going on because he's going to be intentional. He's going to let you know up front and he's going to be intentional. And I ain't talking about like Sophia (laughs) said, yeah, tell me up front. I'm not talking about the, oh, well, you know, I like you and all them. Not that man. I am talking to somebody else right now, but that ain't working now, you know. Uh, 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 I can get your number. I ain't talking about that. Yeah, I'm. That's so not what I'm talking no about. No one wants that, man. If you're listening, like really, honestly, no one wants that. No one wants it. No one. Now, if she turned around and told you, well, I got five on my roster, then she'll be all kind of uh hookers and the, every ungodly name in the book. But you will hook her, and you will prostitute, cause you got you just told me you got uh. 15 million of them hanging on Get and you want out of the room. my mama? What in, what in the world would make you even think I would give you my number? Now, uh, be honest and be upfront because that saves a lot of heartache, trouble, and tragedy 
It does. It can prevent somebody from going to the grave and prevent somebody from going to jail. But you understand what I'm saying? I do. In 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 the context that we're saying about being honest. So and don't don't tell me you got 15. And when I tell you I got 15, waiting and we just talking and all this stuff. Don't get mad at me. And the, the, the same thing goes with a woman. Be honest with the man that you say you like. If you know that um he he laid it out for you his intention for you he was mature and came to you and said hey i ain't courting nobody else i like you what's up can we talk if you know you're not really trying to get that man the time of day let him go and find somebody else that is it has the same intention as he has that's part of that clarity that go both ways because i don't want to bash women I mean, I don't want to bash men, but that thing goes both ways. And again, I will say, mature men and women. Your age is not a mm-hmm. indication of your maturity level. So when I say mature, I'm not talking about age. I'm talking about mindset. I am talking about someone who is a actual adult in their mind and i'm not talking about you think you an adult because your age tell you you pass the age 18 i'm talking about how you how you go about and carry yourself you know and to piggyback off of that i would say uh, because you made the comment you know on the side of a woman but you meant this for men too let if you know you don't feel like he feels and he has maturely stepped to you and said you know these are my intentions be good to him and and let him go and, you know, find someone who wants what he wants. And here's what I would say too, to the person, male or female, who is living the whorish life. I mean, I don't know really what else to call it. Well, you, you, you're for the streets. Why not just, why not? No, no, you got to say it again. Please say that again. Please let girl say for the streets. Why do why do y'all for the streets people always want to have someone who's not for the streets? Why won't you also go out there and get with a like person who's also for the streets? I mean, it just seems like that would be a better situation because y'all are both for the streets. Now, let me just pause right there because I don't want to get too far past the scripture that I that I was trying to quote here. This is in 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 8, and it reads, But if any provide not for his own, and especially for those of his own house, he hath denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. Okay, so you can take that husbands who... Or, or seeking to be husbands, wanting to take in a woman and not be good to her. Um, and I and I suppose as Tree said, man or woman. But truly, that's the question. I, I would like people in the comments, even though I, I'm sure I could figure this out, you know, with a good mind. Why would you know, knowing that you're for the streets and out there all in the streets, not want to be with a person who is like you? clarify in the con give us some clarity so that we can thrive here on bone and marrow podcast thank you we appreciate it well one of the reasons like they they don't Mm -hmm. want to um experience what they're giving out that's the crazy part that they're afraid to experience what they're giving out so they go for somebody who is not going, who is not going to have a loyalty issue to them, even though they are saying, oh, I want to be with you, but I don't want to be loyal or, oh, I want to be with you, but I don't want to be committed because they don't want to have that same pain that they're inflicting for whatever reason that they're inflicting the pain. So that's why they do that. It's like, let Selfish. me be sa- let me be safe, but let me not allow you to be safe with me. So that's what it is. That is what it is. Well, ladies, we are wrapping up on the end of this Soul Sipping Sunday episode. So does anybody else have anything to add here concerning do women thrive in clarity? Do women thrive in clarity? I think people in general thrive in clarity. 
but it's a question is posed specifically to women. I think yes, women function better when whatever the situation is clear, whatever it is, when it's clear and understandable. There's no confusion. I don't have to guess. I'll make up stories in my mind. You you know, I almost said you understand. You understand? I do. <laughs> it's so clear and I'm thriving. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so all the people out there in the streets, go home. Just get out. Go home. Go home, Roger. We call you back from the streets. We declare and we decree that you are no longer for the streets. Mm. in Jesus' name. Sophia, you want to take us on out? Yeah, that was was a good clip. I think all relationships beyond romantic relationships need clarity to thrive because I am in a working relationship with someone and her complaint is that she doesn't feel clear when I communicate with her. So I have done things to organize my thoughts for her in writing because I am a better writer than I am a speaker. So, you know, like I try to like, you know, if that's that's where you are having a communication problem with me, then I always go straight to writing because I just feel like I can take my time. I can organize my thoughts. I can, you know, bullet everything out for you. But it is a real thing. And it's not just women. It's like you guys said, it's men too. They need to have clarity too. And so I just want to encourage every relationship. Think about clarity when you're communicating with someone because that can be um, a tension builder. You know, even when if somebody says to you, you know, I don't feel like you're being clear or I don't understand what you're saying or what you said, then you find the other way to communicate. For me, it's writing. That's the other way to communicate. That's how I know for a fact. And I know you cannot not refer to the writing as well like somebody could say oh you said this and I'm like no that's not what I said but in writing they can't say that you can pull it up so find your other way of communication and and make that your alternate when somebody says to you I don't understand you're not being clear with me because there's a chance that at moments we're just not clear you know as human beings (laughs) always have that backup way to communicate and make sure it's a way that covers you you know as a person as a communicator now imagine yeah. if you imagine if that was a um a, 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 a romantic relationship. relationship yeah i would not be able to do it i literally the last time i spoke to this person my body was so tense because i'm it's just the to me it's the way that they are communicating with me but to them they're looking at it totally different <laughs> like they're look the way we're communicating totally different so I don't know. Like, I would not be able to be in a romantic relationship like that. I would ne- I have to feel totally comfortable, totally calm in relationships. Like, I don't like feeling worked up. I don't like feeling stressed out. I like being very relaxed if I'm with somebody. So I would not be able to... That would not have been... Uh, I mean, aside from the fact that the person is not a man, but <laughs> that would not be a comfortable relationship for me, ever. I would never be able to be with a person who is like this way. It's taxing on me. It has been taxing this whole week. I've just been like, I just been like, I I just feel like I don't even want to say it. I don't even want to say what I feel. But, but it, it is the thing is the other person is also feeling some type of uh, hook in our communication. So to to that, I'm saying that. You always, as a person, have a backup option for how you communicate, you know, because we both could be be telling the truth at the same time about what's mm. happening, you know? So I, my backup is, let me write it out for you. Let me text it or send it in an email so that way we can keep referring <laughs> to what I said in the third bullet point. Receipts, receipts. You know, yeah, for me, that's the receipt. You know, somebody else's way might be different. But for me, if you find yourself in a communication frustration, mm, mm. okay, just think of what your best way to communicate is like what's your some people's alternate communication is speaking but for me i have to definitely 
write it out. And then I also have to be able to allow you to refer back because I'm saying what I'm saying. I mean what I'm saying. (laughs) So I need you to be able to refer back so that you are not like coming at me about it in some out of the way way. (laughs) So that's, that's what I think. You know, that's that's what I think. You know, people just the solution is for clarity's sake, figure out what your deft way of communicating is. Like, what is your way that you can communicate, and you know that it cannot be um, unclear or questioned or. I don't know the other words to say for that, but you come up with that way and always have it in your back pocket. I don't, I can't always stop what I'm doing and write out what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I can't always do that. But if somebody is saying to me, I didn't understand what you said, then I can definitely go back in my back pocket and pull out my tool for writing, you know, and so that's my way. But maybe that's what people need in relationships. Like they need to have, think about when you're working with your other person, Think about like, well, what's my other way of communicating? Because sometimes it's factual. People are just, they just don't understand each other for whatever reason. How they're communicating is not working from both perspectives. Mm. So think about like, what is my alternate way of getting my point across or saying what I need to say or being clear, uh, you know, based on the video. So... Yeah, that's a solution. Always have your backup way to communicate, which you're not going to always have access to that way in the moment. But at least you could always go back to that way and say, listen, I just want to write this out. That's my way (laughs) because I feel like maybe you didn't understand what I was saying. Or if they do say they didn't understand, then you can um, go to your way. Go to your way. How do you communicate? Maybe you write poems. Maybe you communicate figuratively but have your way that you do it figure that out first and then you can master communication across relationships not just in romantic relationships but in all relationships because that's probably communication is probably the biggest issue that relationships have like generally relationships probably have communication problems the most Mm. i meant this but you heard that Mm. like you know what i'm saying so that's what i think a good solution would be like make sure you know what your master way of your mat what you have mastery in when it comes to saying what you want saying what you need saying what you like you know how do you do that in a way that is clear to the other person Mm. I like that, Sophia. And the fact that you um, have highlighted that there is more than one way to communicate. But just Mm -hmm. to help the people, um, and again, man or woman, um, if would you would you would you ladies agree? If someone is showing that they just have a a failure to communicate or no mm. interest in even discovering another way to clarify things with you, then you you want to stray away from that person. Like just yeah. go set yourself mm. free, okay, ladies and men, because that person doesn't have your best interest at heart. And and especially if it's a relationship of the heart, like this is a courtship, mm. this is a, a pursuit. Um their intentions more than likely are not pure for you. Mm -hmm. So be helped in that way. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. Well, we love you guys. um, And Jesus loves you best. And this has been Soul Sipping Sundays with the Bone and Marrow podcast. We're your hosts. I'm Joy. I'm Sophia. And I'm Altria. Take care, guys. (laughs) Good night. (laughs) Thank <laughs> you.